ACC hey, gold hey, medalist. Why did you decide to leave and, and go participate in this amazing Craig Jones event? What was, oh, yeah. So why did I leave? Yeah. Um, well, you know, financial reasons. Mm -hmm. um, it is nice to make some money. Um, and like for the ADCC prize, when I won it, it was 5K, which is, you know, not substantial at all. Wait, to win the ADCC gold medal? It's 5K. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, <clears throat> I've heard rumors about this thing for a long time because ADC, they used to pay pretty well. But um, I think some of the competitors in, in when it was overseas, they came to the sheiks and they can't, they got really greedy and they started like selling black belts and they started trying to get as much gold and everything they could. I heard about that. And I heard the sheiks got turned off by it and they basically pushed and suppressed the sport and pushed it away and, and lost interest with it. And they, and then eventually came back here and now they're putting on the, these tournaments and not, and, and they're suppressing the pay because they're just so turned off because these guys are so greedy and, but they're, they're still putting, they're buying out a $2 million venue and they're putting ten thousand dollars now, so it's just getting further and further. So Craig is like, you know, when you make it a real business and you're not just like that that cheeky kind of thing, you know, it's like really the best competitors in the world they need to get paid. You're not going to go do that. You're not going to get the best competitors competing for ten thousand dollars. You can't you can't afford to do that. So like it, you got to put it on the line. If you want to guys see guys go at it, it's like ADC has lost its interest. If, if, the Olympics, they keep trying to keep this integrity of it, but it has lost all integrity. It really is what it comes down to is Craig's doing something revolutionary. He's creating purses and a reason for why people should compete, should give their all, should entertain the fans and give them the best potential matchups. And I'm, I'm a huge fan of what he's doing and the backings and everything, and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was put way better than I could have said it, so... <laughs> So, no, but you sound better saying it. Yeah. Thank you. I, I like the West. Accent. I like the West accent. I don't really have like a proper Welsh accent. It's Why? like a weird. I don't know. I lived in Ireland for a while as well. Oh, so you got mixed up. Yeah, mm. it's kind of weird. And so uh, Welsh is that that's um under the UK, right? Is that yeah. so? It's a different country, but it's still under the UK. Yeah, it's like Wales, England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland are all part of the UK. Okay. But you know, I call myself Welsh, not British. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Why? Well, so some do some Welsh people call themselves British? Yeah, I mean, like, it's only English people really call themselves British. Mm. Really? Yeah, that confuses me a lot. <laughs> the, uh, we honestly. won't get into and that. Then, and then, and then what, what, what's the Scouser? Where's the Scouser? Oh, that's, that's like Liverpool. from Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I know about that. <laughs> that was cool. Whoa. I know about that because the Scouser, Whoa. they, 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 they the niggas of England. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that's true. Right? True, true story. I can't, Stop. I don't know if I can why, say why that. You can say that. You can confirm that it's true. I can't say that. I don't know that I can say it. What are you? I just told you straight up the Scousers, they the niggas of England. <laughs> Why, <laughs> bro? Because they because they have nigger tendencies. Like what? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I was I was she's like, so sweet. She don't you know what that means? <laughs> what does it mean? Tell him. Tell her. Okay, uh, you guys remember when I was on the Wolf Lair team? I was on the Wolf yeah, Wolf Lair. Yeah, 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 you yeah, break yeah. that. Well, you look at the the way their logo. You break it out. It, it said so the, Wolf Slayer actually, yeah. and I'm a wolf, so I was on the wrong motherfucking <laughs> team. So the Wolf Slayer is a big MMA gym in in it was the UK. In, yeah. yeah, it was in the UK. It was in. Um, okay. It was the gym was actually in like Warrington Witness area, but the owners of it was from Liverpool, and they was some grimy like thug, straight up thuggish street punks. Ah, uh, you know? yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. and uh, people when I when <laughs> I went, yeah when I went out there to train with them, and people found out that um you know my manager was a scout and stuff like that. That people like from London and everything they were telling me uh um um. Watch your wallet. I was like, what? <laughs> it's, it's, I went to a game out there from uh, was uh, Manchester United and uh, Liverpool. And uh, we got tickets with the Manchester people, like the, the team. And so we got seated there. But you got to see like every break, you saw Liverpool guys would just, they'd just flood up. They'd be up and getting beers. Like and they'd be running up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, and then, the like, so you though. see the red and the blue. The red would just woof, and the, mm -hmm. the blue would be like, take their yeah, time. Yeah, they don't play about this shit. Hey, the last time I was, I'm out telling there, you, like, like you said, they're I was, different over there. I was, out, I was out there a couple of couple of months ago. I was in Blackpool visiting my my boxing coach Bobby, <laughs> and then I I went to go visit some of my t old teammates, and yeah. uh, one of them, um, Big Tony, he's like um, head security guard over a lot of nightclubs in Liverpool, mm -hmm. and I was walking around Liverpool like the clubs. He's taking me different clubs and it reminded me of my hometown Memphis but instead of all black people it was all white people <laughs> doing the exact same shit yeah, like, like, like on the street like rowdy like the girls look ratchet <laughs> and the dudes they the way they their swag everything I'm like god damn no, these are niggas good night. 
Liverpool, no, it's good. Yeah, it's a nightlife. Uh, there used to be a show in the UK called Grapple. Well, no, it's still on, but it's called Grapple Fest. And you fight in a nightclub and like the crowd are like on the barrier, just screaming and they're all really drunk. But it's like a really good vibe. And then you go out after. Yeah. So it was oh, 